Hey there, Craig LePage, LePage Johnson Realty Group and Charlotte Living and Lifestyle. Today's video is about the Lake Norman area. Lake Norman is about 20 minutes northwest of Uptown Charlotte, and it's a really popular place to live when people are thinking about moving to Charlotte. This is one of the major areas that people are considering. So before we start talking about the different roadways and the different towns that people choose to live in, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the lake itself. As you can see, it's a fairly large lake. It's fed from the Catawba River up here, and that comes from the mountains. And the lake itself is about 32 miles long. It's a mile wide at its widest point, and it has over 520 miles of shoreline. So you can see it is a very large lake, and there's a lot of major highways that surround the lake, making it convenient to get around there. So the most widely used highway is Interstate 77 that comes up from the center of Charlotte, past the east side of the lake, and up past Statesville. So Highway 77 was the original highway where most of the development around the lake was built and it has since grown to the west side of the lake. The first town we're going to talk about is Huntersville. That was the first to be developed because it was the closest to Charlotte. And as you come up out of Charlotte on Highway 77, you'll reach exit 23 here and that is Gilead Road. There's a tremendous amount of development in that area. If you start out to the east, there's many, many popular neighborhoods out here in planned communities with great amenities, as you're seeing in the video here. We've featured many of them in our other videos just about Huntersville. If you're looking to focus on Huntersville, check out our other video that's just about Huntersville itself. It goes into a little bit more detail, but there's a tremendous amount of neighborhoods out this way. Any price point that you're looking for, probably from the 300s all the way up over a million out this way, whether it's a golf community or you're looking for a lot of um, land, you want a, a larger lot, a smaller lot, active adult communities, there's just about everything out this way. As you come across the highway on Gilead Road, you'll see there is a Novant Medical Center right there. There's a tremendous amount of retail, shopping, restaurants, coffee shops, Starbucks, whatever you can think of is all right in that area off of Gilead Road to the east. As you work your way out, you start kind of going out into a little bit more of a rural community area, and that's where a lot of the planned communities are. One of the neighborhoods I want to showcase today is Torrance, and Torrance is a planned luxury neighborhood right here off of Gilead Roads, very convenient to all the shopping and highway access. And these luxury homes range from 800000 to about $1.2 in price. They sit on decent-sized lots. As you can see, some of the homes have their own pools, beautiful elevations, there's sidewalks, tree-lined streets, and there's also walking trails in this neighborhood. So that is Torrance. If you're looking in that 800 to $1.2 million price point, convenient to Uptown by hopping on Highway 77, that Torrance neighborhood might be a great choice for you. As you work your way out here towards the lake, I want to showcase another neighborhood called Lake Mont Commons. And this is a great representation of a neighborhood that is priced in the high 300s, up as high as maybe the 600s. These are good size lots in this neighborhood, beautiful elevations and their sidewalks and tree lined streets in here as well. This is a fairly new neighborhood. At the time of this video, it's about two or three years old, but it's a very well put together neighborhood. Good representation of that price point. You could see there is a recreation area run with the dog. There's a dog station there. There's park benches. So it's a great a great neighborhood with plenty of amenities to choose from. These lots are large enough where some of these houses have their own pools as well. You can see you're getting a decent amount of land in these houses in that price point. And you're still only about you know, five to 10 minutes uh, from the lake, five to 10 minutes from Burkdale Village, which we're gonna talk about as well as that shopping here off of exit 23. As you work your way up, I'm gonna talk a little bit now about the shoreline along Huntersville. 
Huntersville is a very large town. We're talking mainly about the lake area because we're talking about Lake Norman today. Huntersville does not have a tremendous amount of shoreline, but it is some of the most sought after shoreline because it is so far south and it's close to all these great amenities that this area offers. And of course, highway access into Charlotte. Although it doesn't have a lot of shoreline, it's some of the nicest and most sought after. There's beautiful homes and beautiful options in this area. So if you're thinking of being on the lake in Huntersville, uh, just let us know and we can see what's available in that area. Another popular place I wanna talk about is Burkdale Village. And that's right off of this exit 25 location on Highway 73 here in Huntersville. Burkdale Village is a live, work, play neighborhood. It's one of the most popular attractions in all of Lake Norman. It's a destination where many residents and visitors just come to hang out. There's something for everyone here. There's kids attractions, wine bars, coffee shops, ice cream shops, a movie theater, and even a main stage where there's concerts and performances throughout the year. But Burkdale Village is mainly known for its shopping. There's anchor stores like White House Black Market, Victoria's Secret, Lululemon, Dick's Sporting Goods, Barnes and Noble Books, Kendra Scott, and there's also a bunch of different boutiques throughout Burkdale Village. Burkdale Village has a wide variety of restaurants. There's some new ones going in there as well. There's new restaurants that are being added. The Burkdale Village is going through a renovation as we speak, and it's just about complete. It looks beautiful. As I mentioned, there's a center green in the middle. There's uh, turf areas where the kids play and there's lawn games. It's a social district as well. So if you want to sip a glass of wine or have a beer while you're walking around Burkdale Village, that is allowed there. So if you're in that area and just visiting, you definitely want to check out Burkdale Village. It's definitely one of the highlights of the entire Lake Norman area. In addition to the village itself, there is a neighborhood attached to the backside of Burkdale Village called The Greens. Many people just call it Burkdale Village neighborhood, but that neighborhood is super popular as you can imagine because it's in walking distance to the Burkdale Village shops and restaurants. But those homes range from about 500,000 upwards of 800,000 these days and that's a very popular place. There's not many homes available in that neighborhood and you can understand why. Across the street from Burkdale Village, across the street from this Highway 73, which is a four lane road, there is Burkdale Landing. And Burkdale Landing is a very nicely done retail area with some restaurants in there as well. So that's Burkdale Landing. Another neighborhood I wanna visit is the Oak Farm neighborhood, which is just out 73 here in Huntersville. This is a newer neighborhood. Uh, as you can see from the video, there's homes being built. And these homes range from about 800,000 up to about 1.4 million in price. This is a great location because you can shoot down 73 into Concord if you want, or you could come back towards the lake and you can hop on I-77 or visit Burkdale Village. There's plenty of shopping over there. But this is a fantastic location and a really nice looking neighborhood. As you can see, there's a green area right in the center of it. There's places for kids to play. There's a small clubhouse for community gatherings. There's a fire pit and there's a playground. There's also walking trails throughout this neighborhood. It's just a very good uh, location and overall great looking neighborhood. So if you're in that price point of 800,000 to 1.4 million, this might be one of the neighborhoods that you wanna to talk to your realtor about when you connect with us. Like I said, if you're interested in any of these neighborhoods, reach out to us. You'll see that contact information at the bottom of the screen throughout the video.
As you come up 77, you're going to get to this Cornelius area. And Cornelius is not a very large town, but it does have a tremendous amount of Lake Norman shoreline, which makes it a very popular place to live if you want to live on the lake. There's Jaton Road out here, which is a really, really popular road that boasts some of the most beautiful homes on the lake. You also have the Peninsula Club, which is out here. The Peninsula Club is a very popular luxury home neighborhood. It's got an 18-hole golf course, a tennis center, clubhouse, restaurant, fitness center, bocce ball. It goes on and on. Everything that you could want in a country club lifestyle being on the lake. So if, if that is something you're looking for, You'll see the contact information to reach out to us throughout this video. Cornelius is also known for its parks. You've got Jaton Park right here, as well as Ramsey Creek Park. These are great parks right along the shoreline. So if you're not living on the water and you want to go spend a day at the lake, you can uh, take a look at the lake from one of these parks. Cornelius also offers a tremendous amount of retail, and there's West Catawba Avenue that runs along the west side of Highway 77. There's a bunch of new retail in that area, a brand new Chick-fil-A, as well as a, a bunch of other retail spots and, and small restaurants. As you cross over Highway 77 into the east portion of Cornelius, that's Old Cornelius, they call it, um, there's a lot of great development in that area. That's where the new Kane Center, which is a performing arts and visual arts center that was just built right in the middle of Cornelius. As you work your way out here, you also have Antiquity, which is a beautiful planned neighborhood, which has its own retail and a restaurant right at the front of the neighborhood. As you go back into the neighborhood, there's a wide variety of homes and home prices. It has its own pool amenities, a dog park, walking trails, green areas, and so forth. As you work your way up 77 even more, you can visit Davidson. Davidson has a very small piece of land that touches the Lake Norman area and there's some living opportunities out there with some beautiful condos and townhomes, uh, a bunch of retail and restaurants at North Harbor Club. That's a great place to visit. As you work your way into Davidson, you've got the downtown area that's Main Street. Main Street is the heart of Davidson and that's where there's plenty of shops and restaurants. Right across the street from Main Street is Davidson College and that is a beautiful campus. And if you're a basketball fan, two-time NBA MVP Steph Curry played his college ball at Davidson. Fun fact. Davidson is a pretty large town, goes way out here to the east, and there's a lot of great pockets of neighborhoods there as well. You've got River Run Country Club, which is a obviously a country club lifestyle community with all its own amenities. You've got uh, Summer's Walk, which is a great community that ranges from four to 600,000 in price point. And then you have very high end neighborhoods like Narrow Passage that are out here as well. And they range from about 1.5 million up to about 4 million in price point. One other one I want to mention here, you can see this body of water that sits on the east side of I-77, and that is actually called Lake Davidson. The two lakes are split by the highway. 
you've got Lake Norman on the west side and Lake Davidson on the right side of I-77. And there's some really nice communities that sit along this small Lake Davidson as well. And one of them is Davidson Bay. Davidson Bay offers a variety of different styles of homes, including luxury townhomes. Our team here at LePage Johnson sold each and every one of these townhomes when they were a new construction a few years back and they range anywhere from 800 to 1.5 million in price. They're beautiful, beautiful finishes in these townhomes and some of them look out on Lake Davidson as well. Towards the back of the neighborhood, there's a lot of new development with some jewel box type homes, as well as some three-story luxury homes that are being built in Davidson Bay as well. Um, if you're thinking of Davidson and you wanna live in a lake area, definitely check out that Davidson Bay area. If you're looking for some other price points, definitely reach out to us. There's plenty of options. Uh, as I mentioned, Davidson is pretty large. It goes out here to the east, but it's a great town, great location, and still has great access to all the highways that will get you around town. Working your way up, you're going to get into this Mooresville area. And Mooresville is one of the more popular towns in the entire Lake Norman area. It is a very large town and you can see all of this land here that comes out on the lake is all Lake Norman waterfront in Mooresville. Mooresville probably has the most waterfront property on the lake. got I-77 obviously that comes up here and then you have Highway 150. And Highway 150 goes across Mooresville across the lake into Cheryl's Ford which we'll talk about a little bit later. The Highway 150 is a major road as well. Mooresville as I mentioned has some of the most beautiful luxury homes along this shoreline as well as lake cottages. There's plenty of options and plenty of price points to reach out to us about lake living in Mooresville if that's important to you and that's what you're looking for. One of the most popular neighborhoods in the lake area is called the Point and the Point comes out here in this point area. This is a high-end luxury home community with an 18-hole golf course, tennis center, and a tremendous amount of other amenities, everything that you can imagine. have another great community out in front of the point called the farms and that is a little bit lower price point probably we're talking 500 600,000 up to over a million um, but these are very large lots uh, great amenities in that neighborhood as well at the farms you've got obviously your own pool and tennis center uh, playground picnic area plenty of amenities there as well
up above the 150 area over here you have another popular neighborhood called Sisters Cove. Sisters Cove is another neighborhood that our company here at LePage Johnson Realty Group sold out. There's about 55 luxury homes in that neighborhood and our team sold just about every one of them when they were new construction a couple years back as well. These range anywhere from about 800,000 in price point all the way up to about 1.5 to 1.6 million in price point. And these are some beautiful, beautiful luxury homes in that Sisters Cove area. Along this 150 corridor, you've got a tremendous amount of retail, shopping, restaurants. Out here on the east side, you've got some popular uh, race shops like Kyle Busch Motorsports, Casey Kane Racing, Junior Motorsports, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, so if you're into racing, there's a lot of race shops in this area as well. And there's also uh, Penske Racing is out that way. And then you also have the GoPro Motorplex, which is a competition level karting facility that is out on the east side of I-77 here in Mooresville. So let's work our way up further. You've got Troutman. Troutman is uh, an up and coming area. There's so much growth here in that Mooresville area that a lot of people are moving up to Troutman to get a little bit more home for their money. And it's got a small town feel right now. There's some other development and commercial development out that way. But you're really, you know, anywhere from five to 10 minutes right back into Mooresville where you have everything you would ever want. So some people are making that small sacrifice in time in order to get more for their money and then they can come into Mooresville for their necessities. There's some other great neighborhoods right on that Mooresville Troutman line like Falls Cove. Falls Cove is a really nice planned community with a lot of different price points as well ranging from that high 400 up over uh, a couple million for some of the homes on the water in that Falls Cove area. Working your way up to Statesville. Statesville is getting a little bit away from the lake. This is all Statesville as well. So there's still some waterfront along Statesville, but you're in the thinner part of the lake getting towards the river. Statesville is almost like a city in itself. It has everything that you would need. You don't really have to travel to any other area in order to get your necessities, but it's obviously getting a bit further away from the lake and further away from the city. So. Um, that's an option that you have as well. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Coming back down to 150, Highway 150 goes across the lake and into the Sherrill's Ford area. And Sherrill's Ford is very up and coming, building out very fast because it has a decent amount of Lake Norman waterfront. There's a lot of land to develop here. And then you also have that Highway 150, which leads to 16 and 16 goes along the west side of the lake i'm going to draw a line here highway 16 west side of the lake down into the charlotte area so if you're living in the cheryl's ford area you have the option to shoot back over to the east side and go to mooresville where you have a lot of different necessities or you can go over to the west side and visit the denver area which is very 
fast growing area. And if you wanted to go into Charlotte, I would recommend shooting over to this Highway 16, which shoots right down into Charlotte and is not as busy as Interstate 77. So that's a great opportunity as well. There's lots of new neighborhoods and growth in that Cheryl's Ford area. There's a big retail area that is uh, being built out called the Village of Cheryl's Ford, which has um, Publix grocery store, as well as a bunch of different restaurants and small retail around that as well. There's lots of offices and necessities like veterinarians and doctors and everything else you might need right in that Village of Cheryl's Ford area too. And then, like I said, you have a tremendous amount of waterfront options. And because it's so convenient to go back into Mooresville or over to that Denver area in Highway 16, it's not really that far out being in that Cheryl's Ford area. So a lot of people are choosing Cheryl's Ford instead of Mooresville because the prices are obviously less out that way. So that's Cheryl's Ford, as I mentioned earlier, you can work your way over to Highway 16 down into this Denver area. And Denver is basically the whole entire west side of the lake. So there's a lot of waterfront in Denver as well. You have different sections of Denver. Denver is basically this whole side, but there's the Westport area. And then you've got lower Denver here. You've got Highway 73, which I should have mentioned before, runs from Denver all the way across the bottom of the lake through Huntersville out towards Concord. So that's a major corridor as well. So Denver is mostly developed from a commercial standpoint down near the bottom here. This 7316 intersection is where a lot of the development is. There's a Walmart out there, Lowe's Home Improvement, plenty of grocery stores. There's a brewery down there. There's lots of restaurants like Chill Fire and Sports Page. That's where you're gonna find most of your retail is down here. To get from this 150 all the way down to this 73 area, it's only about a 10 minute highway drive. So you can see that'll give you a little bit of a gauge of that distance. It's a 10 minute drive on the highway. And then you have Old 16, which is Business 16, which runs along the inside here. There's all sorts of great neighborhoods along the lake. Um, up here, you've got Killian Crossing, which is a popular neighborhood. I used to live in it. Beautiful neighborhood. got sail view which is right on the lake uh, you've got this Westport area out here you've got uh, Norman Estates which is a beautiful high-end gated luxury home community uh, really exclusive homes uh, out there ranging from 1.5 or 2 million upwards as high as 12 million. One just went on the market for 12 million there. So if you're looking for ultra high end, that's where you're going to want to look in Denver, which is that Norman Estates. Uh, there's lots of public rope boat ramps all throughout the lake and they are actually free, believe it or not. If you're moving from the north, you would never believe you can put your boat in the water for free here. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so this is that Denver side. Uh, great options along there. All different price points ranging from 
you know, that 300, I mean, I'm talking about newer stuff, 300s all the way up to 12 million in price point in that Denver area. Some of the more mature homes, you can probably find, you know, 250, 300, and that depends on how close you are to the lake. Obviously, if you're getting closer to the lake, you're gonna pay more money. If you're out here a little bit more into the country, you're gonna pay a little bit less. So that is about it. As you can see, we've got the major roadways that go all around the lake. You've got I-77 to the east, and then you've got 150 that runs from east to west along the top of the lake, and then you have 16 that runs north to south down into Charlotte. Then of course you've got 73 that runs right along the bottom of the lake. So it's pretty easy to get around the lake and uh, there's some great options here. So I hope this video has really helped you with a decision on where to move in the Lake Norman area. At least if you have a couple of options, let us know what they are and we can help set up a search. We have several other videos that really zoom in and zoom in on these areas and really give you a better idea of what it's like to live in those areas. So I hope that helped. This is Craig LePage, LePage Johnson Realty Group and Charlotte Living Lifestyle. Reach out to us and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.